Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty-three in chapter five. In this one, we need to distinguish the coefficient of static fraction and the coefficient of a kinetic fraction, and they have the different values, right? Zero point four and zero point three. In this system, we need to first one find the minimum mass for A to keep the system from starting to move or keep the constant speed. So this first thing do the first analysis. The first one asks you to just keep the system from starting to move. Starting to move, what does that mean? It means the object has a tendency to move but not move, right? So it is still stationary. And also the Fraction is a static fraction, so we can do the first analysis. First one, we have the gravity for object B, and then tension. For object A, we have gravity, normal force, the tension, and also fraction. And this fraction, at this second, the system from starting to move is just a kinetic, or is just a static fraction. And then we can write in Newton's second law. So first one, look at object B, we have Ft minus the m. Gravity equals zero, and then for A, the similar level have normal force minus the uh, gravity equals zero, and also because it's stationary, so we have the tension minus the fraction equals zero, and this fraction is just the, the mu s times the normal force. The normal force is m a g, right? You agree? Yeah. This uh, we choose the static fraction, and then we input them inside. We can find this m a just equals m b divided by mu s. The second one, the system moving at a constant speed. What does that mean? Means acceleration is zero. Still, acceleration is zero. The force is balanced. But one thing we need to take care: the system began began to move. It moving, and then the system is moving. So it, the friction becomes a kinetic friction. So still, we have the object B. The force is balanced. F T tension minus the gravity equals zero, and then we have the Object A, so the force still balanced because at move at a constant speed, acceleration is zero. So tension minus the friction equals zero. But there is a friction becomes the kinetic friction. So we use mu k times the gravity times the normal force. Agree? Yes. And then we can solve this equation. Get the mass A. So this one in this problem we need to distinguish the static friction and the Kinetic friction. They just choose different coefficient, and in both cases, the force is balanced. Thank you.